guys, I think my game bugged. And the stuff in my bike is gone. What in the world? Welcome back, everybody, to episode 41 of our Agility Build Challenge. My name is Lainey from Early Gaming, and today we're going to start off, as we usually do, by revealing more names into our little clubhouse. Now, the first name on the wall here today will be Titch World. Now, it's another YouTuber, a small like me, a little bit, maybe a little bit bigger, but he has been with us for a little bit in the channel and he's usually very considered and comes on and gives me comments on some of the videos and stuff and I've been keeping an eye on his videos he does really fun stuff so uh, very cool very exciting and the second name is Pisces also known as Pish Pish my sweet lady uh, I've played with her for a really long time we played Ark she is just one of the nicest people so she definitely has to come on here and she was uh super sweet and supported me when i started doing these videos so i really appreciate it now the next two names i do not know not personally mind you i haven't actually had the pleasure of meeting these two ladies that is phyllis o and danielle h so welcome thank you uh they have been my subs for a little bit um I think Danielle was a little bit earlier, but either way, I've never actually talked to them. So I just thought I would put them over here, like putting something out to the universe, you know, maybe one day <laughs> I will get to say hello. So there you go. Thank you so much, though, for supporting and for being part of the channel. I really appreciate you, ladies. And the last name for today will be Dante K. Now, uh, he's part of the Reach Army. And he's also really funny and really nice, always posting really funny things on Discord. So, yeah, I really appreciate him. It makes my day every time. Really, really kind as well. So, thank you. Thank you to all of you. So, anyway, today we are going to continue our questage. And I have cleared out most of my inventory. Unfortunately, today is already cutting in a little bit into the day, but that's fine. And I have put some arrows to make over here because... If you guys remember a couple episodes ago, we got a wooden bow. So I've put an ergonomic grip on it and the string mod that we got yesterday. These, I already had them made. But we also learned how to make the rat remover. So we're going to go ahead and make a few of these, actually, if we can. Uh, because a lot of my weapons need rat remover. So we'll cancel these for now. It's fine. We'll make more later. Oh, oh no. I was like, I'm shooting her with stone arrows. That would be so bad. No, that's why I'm making better arrows. For me to be able to use this thing. That would be amazing. If I can get the rad remover and the crippling mod on it, I would be very, very happy. Oh, very, very happy indeed. And while we wait for the, for the mods, I'm going to hurry up here to this bike. And I'm going to take this because it's going to be really close to the base. So taking the plane doesn't even make sense. I have no idea why I left this over here, but it's just been sitting here <laughs> for days <laughs> since the last fortnight. So no big deal. I'm going to take this one with me instead of the airplane, but I think that's fine. So let me just make sure it's clear and let me go grab the last mod. Oh no. I don't think I need the cripple and mod anymore. Oh, and it finished. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lame. Oh, well, uh, because I found this. So I was emptying the bicycle. Okay. And there's an ROS mod that we got last time. Nice. And this is the only weapon it can be used on anyway. So very exciting. Sweet. I can put the cripple and mod on the SMG. All right. That's good for now. Oh, I have so much stuff in my inventory. But all of it is very, very necessary. We're leaving those burning. Hopefully working on some stuff. And I'll leave the... Actually, if one of the rat removers would finish, yeah, that would be great. Because I don't think this one has a rat remover, which is insane. That's great. And we still have two slots on the turret. That poor turret is so unupgraded. Okay, well, we're taking off on the bicycle. And let's hit up the church, because that is today's goal, to get this done. We're doing it once again. Oh, for, for glory. And I think we can get it done pretty quickly. I feel like we're a little bit of an expert at this one now. I'm going to leave my bike over here. Hopefully it doesn't disappear. And I'm going to leave a lot of my junk in it. Okay. 
so many different types of ammo <laughs> because I'm carrying so many weapons. That's the only problem I have at the moment. But let's go in. We know this place. We know it well. All right. So we know this falls, but maybe we can... Maybe we can shoot that zombie down there from up here. Oh, he's off. Come on, zombie. Oh, that one didn't die? Incredible. I don't know if this thing has a rod remover, but I think it does. So we should be able to kill this. There we go. So sneaky. Oh. He's off. Hello. Oop. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that, to be honest. But that's okay. We continue. Slash. All right, I think that's it for the for the first part of that. That was pretty easy. I think I feel like there's another zombie in here. I just can't find him right now. I swear there was more, but I guess there's not. Look, I'm not going to complain. Let's just pick up the books. All right, that was it. Not a lot of books today, unless I missed them, which I don't think I did. I just feel like that was a little bit of bookish, but that's fine. Uh, we have the Dishonorable Discharge, but we already have it. So that's that. Now we can make first aid kits. That's amazing. Uh, we can make improved fittings mods. Well, it's nice. It's a, it's a mod for your gear. So there we go. That's that. And the rest we already knew. So that's no big deal. Let's continue because this church is going to take a little bit to clear. Alright, I know there's a zombie trying to break in, but it's fine. We're gonna go ahead and try to pick this. We have the turret at the door. Should be safe-ish. We broke all our lockpicks. We're gonna have to empty that normally, but... Well, that's a nice little... little cheat right there. A nice little way to go in. I'm gonna drop all this off and then go back in. We're gonna do the puzzle, okay? We're not gonna fall. Yes! I was full confidence, okay? It was a little bit dumb. It was a little bit reckless. But I believed in myself, and that's all that matters. There we go. Ha ha ha. No blocks necessary. All success. Yes. And now we have our beautiful, beautiful loot. Awesome. Okay, so before this is done, Obviously, I need to open this, so I need to go buy some lockpicks from the trader, or I need to go make some, and that's the plan right now. Ooh, don't fall. Uh, I think my easiest way down might be to jump uh, into one of these. Oh, not right there. Not right, just right here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I'm a genius. Okay, so I'm going to run and grab a bunch of lockpicks and then we can come back. I think the whole place is cleared. So it should be good to just come back in and just get the loot. Um, there's only two boxes or two saves that I need to open. So maybe you'll have enough. Guys, 
because I think my game bugged. And the stuff in my bike is gone. What in the world? All right, guys. First of all, the trader didn't have any picks. I only had some at home, so I brought those over. There's no more at home. So if this doesn't open it, then I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. But at least I have at least 20, so it should be okay. Um, I don't know if I'll open the little one at the bottom. So we'll see. Uh, but as you can see, um, our quest has been reset. Now, our loot disappeared and our quest reset. And if you haven't been on Discord with me, then you might not know, but I've had these weird power outages the last couple of days. And I think what happened is it must have happened right after I said I was going to deposit the stuff in the bike. And I don't know if I did deposit it or I didn't deposit it. I don't know. But either way, it disappeared. It poofed from my inventory and it poofed from the bike. I don't know. It, yeah, it's just it's just the kind of stuff that happens. And it also reset my quest. I guess I am happy it didn't kill my quest, right? It didn't just... <laughs> it didn't just uh incomplete but uh, now i still have to do it that's fine we're gonna be doing it at night oh because why not oh no way a compound bow okay 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 so this one has 38 and this one has 31 okay oh and a, and a steel spear that's awesome oh beautiful Beautiful. I'm going to be using this for my next clear. Oh, <laughs> success. Okay, this was great. All right, let's go and see if we can open the other one. Oh, no. Oh, I tried so hard. Oh, hello, zombie. Oh, this is different. Oh, this is different. Oh, it is cool, though. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. And I think there was a window in here where I jumped out of. Uh, it must be over here. There we go. This is where the other safe was. So hopefully I can just open these up. Nice. A sledgehammer six. Look, it's not it's not great right now, obviously, but it will be good in the future. And we're gonna reset this and run it at night. Let's hope for the best. Oh sweet, I got a reflex light. Can I add it here? Oh, no. Can I edit here? Oh, I can edit to this one. All right. I'm going to add it to the Magnum. So to get it out of my inventory, but... Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to have that on this one. All right. I'm good. I'm good. Let's proceed. <laughs> back oh that wasn't so bad i'll be honest it's morning time now but i think we we can get it done uh still clear the areas but i'm pretty sure we have a couple of birds up stop so let's open the safe and see if we get a little bit lucky oh. i mean if i was going uh perception build this would be incredible so many level six spears been crazy i haven't been looting guys uh, the only reason why i'm looting this is because it's a little bit of an obscure room and i might forget it but otherwise, I haven't been looting. I've just been killing the zombies. So after this, I'm going to have to make my way down and loot everything. But I think that's probably the best way to go about it. I was given that suggestion by one of our ninjas on Discord who plays this spec a lot. So hopefully that makes more sense. And that's usually what I do for the most part when I'm trying to do a fast clear. But sometimes I do loot certain rooms. Depends. 
I try to get the saves and stuff because I, I sometimes forget. <laughs> Hopefully I'll make this jump again. I'm a professional at this place now. A professional. All right. <laughs> We've made it to the loot room once again. Let's see what we got. Okay, okay. Not the most juicy loot I've ever seen. So even though these are exciting, they really can't, I can't make anything with them. So, and even if I could, I could only make a level one, which isn't really an upgrade. And we got a bunch of all their little stuff that I'm going to be selling, of course. So it's, it's okay. It was okay. It was an okay run. <laughs> I wouldn't call it super exciting. But that's okay. We ran it twice. And I think what I'm most interested in is getting all the loot from the from the bottom room. Hopefully I'll get some good stuff there. Okay, so we got Lucky Looter Volume 2. Use five more ammunition and loot. We're gonna get and use that. And we got do 10% more damage against coyotes, which is nice. And we got by the farm. Okay, this is the one where we have to kill all the different animals. So we'll go ahead and read that. Because we are a little bit encumbered and I can't take anything else. Uh, we also got 5% more damage while wearing the helmet of the fireman, so it's pretty cool. And I can't read that note, so that's okay. Hopefully, I will get some room very soon. I don't know where he is. I'm trying to break through this. There we go. Come on, baby. You can do it, zombie. Come on, zombie. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Yeah. Poor guy. I still have a clear of the areas. So where is the zombie? Come on, zombie. I'm making some noise. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where he went. Okay, I can see it. I can see the dot. Is that him? Yes! I knew he was there, and I was just, like, completely ignoring it. Alright, guys. It is horde day now. And I'm going to go turn this into the trader just to see what we get. But, uh, realistically, obviously, we need to get going and, and fixing the base and other things. So, that's going to be it after this. But, look, let's see. Let's see. He might have given us the best gift that we've ever received. Here is your reward. I owe you one. <laughs> okay, not quite. Not quite, but I think I might need these advanced muffle connectors if I'm going to use the military gear, so... You know, we might as well, yeah, even though these sell for a lot more. We might as well go for that. Yeah, not the greatest for that huge POI, but... Whatever. Uh, he's not- he doesn't love us. He really doesn't. Uh, we have a couple of lower tier quests, so that's kind of cool. And then we have a couple of high tier as well for the future. Skyscraper 4. Alright, let's see where that is. Oh, it's all the way over here. Um, I don't know what that looks like. Let me know in the comments if you have any idea. But that's it. It's all the way in the desert, which is perfect because we need to go get some gas. So that's what we were going to do after the Horde Night. But this is going to be it for today's episode, guys. I am so, so happy we got to do the church twice. We got so much loot. Yes, we lost some of the loot from the first time, okay? Mind you, that was a little bit annoying. But at the very least, we got all the books and all the things that we were able to learn along the way. So that's pretty cool. And we didn't really lose that much. Uh, let's see if we got any points to put in because that's always... Yeah, there we go. We got one more point to put in. And I mean, honestly, we'll go deep cuts, okay? Uh, we've been doing so, so well. The knife was pretty good today. So I'm very, very happy about that. Thank you, Machete. And now I am a samurai, guys. Oof. All glancing blows cause bleeding. That's amazing. And enemies run slower while bleeding. That's going to be insane. I mean, I might as well just pack it in. That's going to save my life many, many times. So I'm really, really happy about that. Yes, I probably should have gone Gunslinger since I am about to have Horde Knight. In <laughs> I don't know why. Um, because critical damage, every successive hit... Um, that's 100% extra damage, which would have been insane because I'm using the burst shot anyways on my weapon. So I think that counts. So I think that's three shots at once and that one, the third one will do 100% more. So I'm just going to be doing more damage in general. 
That's going to get really exciting. I hope I'm able to get a point before tonight. If I upgrade enough stuff, I might be able to do it. But I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you would like to see more episodes, please consider leaving a like or subscribe. We're going to be having Horde Night on the next one. So I hope to see you guys there. Bye.